I'm Nancy Rowe. I'm an academic hepatologist at Rush University Medical Center. I'm the chief of my division, co-director of abdominal transplantation, endowed Richard B. Capps chair of medicine, and I am a fellow of the AASLD, or the American Association for the Study of Liver Disease. My mother, at least, really wanted me to be a classical pianist and not a physician, and I went through undergrad knowing that piano performance probably wasn't a good fit for me, but not actually knowing what I wanted to do. And I graduated from a nice small liberal arts school. And when you met with the guidance counselor about where can you go in life, it was like, well, you really can't go anywhere with a degree that you had just acquired. And so I went to med school. I definitely was like a kid in a candy store. Almost every rotation that I was on, I liked. But it wasn't really until I did GI and liver disease that I noticed that I liked the cerebral component of hepatology, but I also liked the fact that I was able to actually do something and I felt like I related to this population and I knew that this was something I could see. As a hepatologist, we struggle with patients who have addiction, socioeconomic hurdles, um, depression. They bring a lot of things that are not their disease into the clinic. My most successful stories are where you can add dignity to a person's decision making. I think that these are the places where I feel the most, most gratitude for having the ability to work with a patient, which is work. That's like two way, not, not a patriarchal, I will tell you what to do, but you tell me what we need to do and we'll make that path together. And I think this is really what gives me the most satisfaction in my patient interactions. I think that mentorship is hands down one of the most important, impactful things that we have. It was really that second institution, I went to Johns Hopkins for my liver fellowship, that gave me a lot of the tools to get my next job. And again, it's just a hand down of mentor to mentor. I was incredibly lucky to have my first boss be a person who who helped me navigate the rest of my career path. Having mentors that had my interests and not their own or the institutional interests at heart really helped me become an incredibly successful clinician. Being at Hopkins with Anime Deal, I think the anime was an incredibly important figure as a young female hepatologist. She managed to have a very successful career while having a spouse that also had a very successful career. She really made you understand that you could do things, maybe not perfectly, but incredibly successfully, and that you didn't have to have a concept that you couldn't ever achieve, that um, compromised, you know, just being real. And she was probably one of the most important individuals because of that. Watching someone balance life, academic medicine, you know, happiness, it's really important for what you can expect of your own career path.